Welcome back, Alphas. Star Citizen 3.7 is live, and to me, in my opinion, it is the most fun patch we've had to date. Yet, this is still an alpha. Sometimes it's a little buggy, sometimes it crashes. Let's be sure that our settings are correct so we can get the best performance out of our system and avoid as many bugs and crashes as possible on our client side. So hold position. I've got a lot of friends who haven't played in a really long time. They've heard about the features added with 3.7 and now they're thinking about playing again. I don't know if you're like me, but I've had to teach them how to get everything set back up. So what if we just do it here in a video and then any of your friends who want to play Star Citizen again, you could just send this video to them. All right, let's get into it. So we go to our options. First thing, we see we have all of our settings here. Now, if you're doing a new patch, we need to delete all of those settings because especially if your friends haven't played in a long time. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to close out of Star Citizen. And then we're going to go into here. We're going to go to whatever folder you have Star Citizen installed onto. Mine is in my games, Star Citizen. We're going to look for this live folder. Okay, we're going to look for user. Once we find user, double click that. You'll go in, look for profiles. Okay, and this is what we're going to get rid of, all of these. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this default folder here and we're going to cut it. I like to go back and I made a new folder here. So, you know, make yourself a new folder. I called it old profiles. And that's where I'm going to paste this in here. And I'm going to rename it the date. Okay, so now we've got a backup. So they've added some stuff with 3.7 and we got to make sure that the game can uh, just add all of the commands as it needs. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get set up here. Now we launch the game. Before we join, let's go ahead and go here. We're gonna first check our graphics. Okay, so be sure that you're set to your optimal resolution. Okay. I like to crank up my gamma just a little, but that's just me. So make sure you're set to your optimal resolution. Here's what I do. Um, I go full screen windowed, yes. Of course I have a uh, 21 by 9 monitor. I've got an ultra wide, so it's a little odd. Uh, and then I do full screen, no. I like to be able to look at my other monitor and alt tab out and all that and just mouse over to the other monitor. So I do this, full screen, no. Full screen windowed, yes. All right, now this, camera and object motion blur no get rid of that <laughs> get rid of that you don't, you don't need it it's gonna slow you down it's gonna it hurts your frames if you ever have a friend who's like oh those games make me dizzy turn off motion blur and then let them sit down at your computer it's a world of difference all right uh quality this is interesting i've tried it on lower ones in some games you'd think oh i'll get more fps bro better kd bro no not here not like that. You need to pair it up with whatever video card you have. I have a GeForce 1070 Ti, so I run very high. When I try to lower it and go anything lower, I actually get less frames because my video card is having to down convert to some lower frame rate than it can normally do. So just put it with whatever you think is going to work best. And if you're not sure, just try it and then you can test out your frames. Simple, just hit tab and then um, you can hit R tab ah look at all that there's your choices okay so r tab oops r tab three and then just hit tilde again and then here's all my uh stuff here's my fps here you want to turn it off go back to tilde r tab zero that'll turn it off you can also do r tab one if you want to get less stuff all right so we're back here. You can check your frames, make sure that you've got this one on the right one, okay? And I would just test it as you're playing around in the game, uh, running around and see which one gives you better frames. Kind of keep it a controlled environment. All right, let's see. So here we go, what else? Chromatic aberration, I turn that off. Okay, then I go, what else? Audio, okay, this music's gonna go way down. That's better. Music way down. 
let's see what else we got. We need to go to game settings. Okay. So I don't have a vibrating controller, so I'm going to turn that off just because. Sprint, toggle, here we go. Crouch, toggle. I like to let off control and I pop back up, so I turn off toggle. Prone toggle, I do want that on. Aim down sights, toggle. No. I want to be able to just let off and it'll pop back to normal. All right, let's see. Lean toggle, I always turn that off. Because if I'm leaning around a corner, if I let go of Q or E, I just want to pop back into my defensive hiding spot there. And I think we look pretty good here. This, except for this third person traversal camera shake. I'm turning that. I'm going to put it on, but just a little bit. Just so when I'll know some things are happening, but I don't want it to shake my screen so much it messes with me. Oh, and also I'm going to turn down my star map zoom speed just so it's a little slower, a little more manageable. All right, so we got all those. Next. Key bindings. Okay, if you're using anything like game glass, that's where you'll go in here and you'll add it. Okay, see, game glass, boom. You'll go keyboard. Load your game glass. You can check and you can see all the different controls that you have here. Some of these aren't listed. Some of them, like VoIP, push to talk, whatever channel you're in, number pad plus. Okay, but yet can't really find it on this thing. Increase field of view is all it says, but that's if you're holding down F4. So, anyway, some of those things you can dig around and find that way, but a lot of you veterans already know that. Controls, I do change some things because I feel like these controls in Star Citizen, with at least with my mouse, it's just not the, the right thing for me. So, I always go through here and I tweak these. Uh, you know, to me, the pitch is a little much, so i turn these down a little bit. I like my aim down sights sensitivity way, way low. And I like to turn this one down. Mouse sensitivity. And then mouse smoothing. This one you can whip around real quickly if it's off. But if you're trying to record, you might want to turn this up. Somewhere around here, maybe up to 0.4. It'll give you those nice smooth camera motions. But yeah, play with it sometime. Alright, and that's about what I do to set everything up. So that gets my game ready to rock. Now when I go in, I've got all my settings. It's ready to go. I can save that profile, but like I said, with patch wipes, they change some things behind the scenes. Sometimes it might conflict. It might give you a little bug. It might make your game crash. But if you go through there, each patch wipe, and you do this once for that patch, like that branch, the 3.7 branch, you should be good to go. That should reduce any game crashes. Um, Aside from known game crashes, right? So that's it. I gotta take off. If this video helped you, hit that like button. Share this with an org mate or a friend that you think might be able to benefit from this. Because then, it'll save you time. You don't have to teach them and walk them through it in Discord. Alright, so send them this video. Remember to subscribe for more content. And I'll be looking for you probably down in a cave in 3.7.